If you watch any of my videos, specifically my shipping and packaging videos, and you're from the US, this video is for you. This video is sponsored by Ladles. They're a really cool company that allows you to customize your shipping labels. If you have a small business or a small online store and you are sending out orders, you will have to print out a label to have it shipped via your carrier or postal service. So why not use that label that you're already creating to customize and brand it and make it really unique and your own. With ladles, you can choose from a ton of different themes. They have season and holiday specific themes. You can also just do solid background colors. And on top of that, you can add short messages, uh, your social media handles, and even upload your brand logo. You can also choose to turn this theme on and off whenever you want. So if you want to print labels without the theme, that's totally fine too. They are a new company, so they're slowly adding functionality. One of the cool things that they are working on implementing is being able to upload your own custom graphic. They have themes that you can choose from, but you will be able to also just upload your own, which is really cool. All users get discounted shipping with USPS and features like address validation, tracking, and insurance. So like I said, they are a new company, so they are slowly adding more integrations. Right now, they have the ability to integrate with eBay, so you can sync your orders automatically. However, if you sell elsewhere, you can upload a list of your orders as well. Also allow you the ability to manage your customers, so if you have repeat customers, you'll be able to save your customer address and information, so you can use that again later. I'm gonna show you how to get set up and how to create a label and print the label and show you some tips and tricks and just an FYI I am not from the US so I can't actually use this service but I just thought it was really cool and a lot of the people who watch my videos are from the US so I think this would be a really cool way to add some personality to my packaging so I wish that I could use this but anyways if you're from the US and you're curious just keep watching and I will show you how to create your own custom shipping label so first you just have to sign up at ladles.com. You just put in your personal information and then once you get an email, you can click it to validate it. And then when you're in the software, you have an onboarding kind of walkthrough that you can do if you want just to get an idea of the features that they have. But um, I'm just gonna get started. So right away you're in the theme section and this is where they have all of their label themes. So you can see they have a bunch of really cute, colorful ones. I love the cow print and there's a rainbow one that I really like as well. So you can choose any of these by just selecting the one that you like and then you click apply theme. So this will apply the theme to all of your labels. And once you're in it, you can customize it. You can do things like add your logo. You just click the browse button and then select the image that you want from your desktop or your computer. Once you upload it, it won't change anything on the UI. You won't see it where it says choose file. And that's because you have to click save to show any of the updates. So I'm adding some text to the left side. This is actually gonna show up on the background theme to the left of the label and I'm gonna hit save so that it populates. You won't be able to see it because it is black text and the zebra print is black. So you can change the text color by selecting that text color uh, box at the bottom and then selecting the color that you want. So I'm just gonna change it to hot pink so that you can see where it is. Um, you're also able to add your Twitter, your YouTube, your Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn, and that shows up on the bottom. So I'll show you that a little bit more clearly with the rainbow background because it's a little bit more solid. So you can see I have the message on the left and my Instagram on the bottom. And you can see my RS Co logo in the center. So I hit save and close to move on because now I'm going to actually create a label. So on this screen, you just hit the create a label button and then here you can choose sender. You would have set this up when you set up your account. And then for customer, you just click add customer and then you enter in their information. And this is all fake information that I'm adding in. You can add um, your own custom measurements or you can select from the drop down and choose a package that is um, more like formatted for USPS. And then once you go to generate, you'll notice that you now have to link up your 
USPS account. So if you don't have one, you can click create account. I thought this is where you created it. So I'm putting in a username, um, but you actually just click there where the text said here. So this is gonna open the Pitney Bowes merchant portal. And from here you can go sign up and then you just go through the create account uh, forms. Um, so once you're done, you'll be on this page. You can click launch. Well, this will take you to the shipping merchant portal. This is where you can add funds and sync up your payment method. You'll need to have funds in here in order to pay for the labels on ladles.com. So you would select the USPS option and then you can sync up your credit card or however else you want to do that. So now when I do a label, I'm just gonna kind of start from scratch and create a new label, but you'll notice I was able to just choose a customer from the drop down. So the one I entered before is still there. So I entered my dimensions, hit save, and now I have some postage options. So I'm just gonna click on create label and then okay to the agreement. You can see now that it's generating a label. If you get the little green um, tag thing, it, it lets you know that the label is generated. So you can just click on the download icon to actually download your postage label. So when I open the PDF that was downloaded, this is what it looks like. This is the label, so you can print that on your inkjet printer. Um, I actually resize, resized it so I could have two on a page. So you can do this if you want, um, or you can just print one and you can print them on paper and tape them to your package, or you can print them on a full label sheet and you can also find label sheets that are two per sheet. So um, if you're curious how to line them up so you can get two on a page, I actually have a video already that's on Canada Shippings, but it applies to this as well, where you can do it on Photoshop, or if you don't have Photoshop, you can use Canva, and then that way you get two to a page. So I'll make sure to link that below. And since I'm using a full sheet label, I am cutting it to size. However, if you used label paper that just had two sheet, two labels per sheet, you wouldn't have to cut them and you'd save yourself that effort. I'll make sure to link below some label paper that I have used that I've liked in case you're looking. But either way, if you can, you can print these on regular paper if that's all you have, or you can grab some label paper and save yourself some time so you can just stick it right on the box. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to get back to you. Huge thanks to Ladles for sponsoring this video. Definitely check them out and I will see you next time.